Well, some new video is surfacing of the man accused of stabbing two men to, uh, two men to death on an Oregon commuter train. Jeremy Joseph Christian is seen here on this cell phone video in a tirade similar to the one he allegedly directed at two women on that train the very next day. Christian accused of stabbing those men after they stood up to his anti-Muslim rants. This event even had the president speaking out on Twitter saying this, quote, the violent attacks in Portland on Friday are unacceptable. The victims were standing up to hate and intolerance. Our prayers are with them. Now the mayor of Portland, though, is calling for a Trump-free speech rally to be canceled in his town, saying those in attendance could, quote, peddle a message of hatred. Let's bring in our panel. Troy Slayton is a criminal defense attorney and former prosecutor, and Bob Bianchi is also a criminal defense attorney and former head county prosecutor. It's great to have you both. Rob, I'm, I'm wondering if there is a legal argument for public safety here from the mayor. What do you think? I, I handle these cases myself, and I don't think that there is. The mayor needs a lesson in civics about the U.S. Constitution and freedom of speech. The answer isn't with, whether you're on the right or the left to limit people from the content of speaking and assembling in order to express their opinions. From a law enforcement perspective, our job would be to ensure that there is safety during that. Obviously, you can't say speech that incites violence, but anything short of that is an insult to the constitutional fabric. Where are we going with this? So when I was a law enforcement officer, we would make sure we had staging areas, we would make sure there wouldn't be interaction with antagonistic groups, but we allowed the speech to occur, and that's what should occur here. Otherwise, we're losing the First Amendment right. It was the first one the Founding Fathers put in the Constitution to express even those ideas that people may hate and think are vile. This is a bad idea by the mayor, and a and, and fundamentally is turning upside down our First Amendment constitutional rights. Troy, what do you think about it? I have to 100% uh, agree with my colleague. The United States Supreme Court said famously in a First Amendment case that the answer to speech we don't like is not to limit speech, it's to have more speech. And so, especially when we're talking about political speech, it's so important and it's so protected throughout our history and in the First Amendment that the government can only place restrictions on the time, place, and manner of speech, not on its content. Content. And it looks like here, just because the mayor of Portland doesn't like uh, the message uh, from this group, that he wants to put a limit on it. Look, just like as if there was a, a KKK rally or Black Lives Matter or any speech that someone may disagree with, you can't stop them just because you don't like the content. So let's talk a little bit about timing. I'm curious on this. I'm not pushing back on both of your stances. I know that you guys had the legal expertise, but I am curious about the timing issue of this. According to the Associated Press, the event is planned for June 10th, so we're a few days away from it, and that a federal permit has been granted to the rally, but the government hasn't yet issued a permit for the event itself, the local government. Bob, is there an argument for, as far as timing of saying, well, we, it's not that we don't want you to gather. It's not that we don't want to express your thoughts. It's just that these murders just happened, and we think the timing's off, that we want to delay it. What about that? You can't start putting any kind of constitutional infringements on the time, manner, or place with which people want to exercise their right to assemble and to speak freely. In fact, timing many times is important, and people want to get messages out. Now, listen, what happened to in this case is horrible, but I agree with what Troy just said. If we have limited the time, place, and manner of speech in the past, who knows where the civil rights movement would have gone? Who knows when gr groups on the left side, if you will, like Black Lives Matter, whether they would be limited because then somebody makes an argument, well, it's not good timing because a police officer was shot. Unfortunately, the answer is not to curtail free speech. It's to protect those people that are attending to ensure that they don't get injured. So politically, it may not be the wisest thing to do, but we're not talking about politics. We're talking about a fundamental constitutional right, regardless of the time, the place, or the manner. And I agree with Troy. We have had cases from the Supreme Court, from the Founding Fathers, and our Constitution burning crosses, doing hateful, horrible things that allowed the content of speech to get out at any time that an individual wanted to do it, so long as they weren't specifically inciting violence. And if we start well, to deprecate that now, we're down a slippery slope. A quick final thought from you, Troy. If the priority is public safety, then where is the line Cross. So let's say this event goes on, it goes forward. Where would there be a line of saying, okay, we're actually shutting this event down, not because of the speech, but because of X, Y, and Z? What would that even look like? 
Right. Well, Jenna, if there was some sort of rioting that occurred, or if the mayor of Portland didn't uh, allocate enough uh, public safety resources to ensure the safety of all participants, uh, then that could be a problem if it ended up getting out of hand. But we can't stop a, a rally just because we don't like what the message is. And I think that the mayor, uh, although it may be well-founded for him to say that it's insensitive to be having this type of rally in light of the horrific attack that just happened, he, what he really should be doing is showing the, the community that he is going to put forward all the resources necessary to protect everyone's safety instead of just stopping it and, and letting those people who would be opposed to this win. We'll see what happens next and to see if this event is allowed to go on. Troy, Bob, great to have you both. Thank you.